Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode 10 of my Valheim series here on my channel. It is fantastic to have you all back, and I do apologise for the delay in videos, but I am looking forward to this. A huge thank you to you all straight off the bat for the amazing support on uh, my 1k special with Rob. Literally, you all really enjoyed that, which is fantastic to see. Uh, so, yeah, thank you so much. That was really, really cool to see. Anyway, welcome back. As I say, we uh, you join us as we are just returning. I see we. Unfortunately, it's just me today. Um, but um, you join me as I'm coming back into base after um, our trip. Now, if I can slam the brakes on there. Brakes, maybe? Brakes? Would be good. Nope, we're going straight past. Interesting. The reason why I wanted to go uh, pull up properly is because if I go here, look at this. 95 iron. Actually, it's probably not the worst place in the world to, to stand. Hoping I can access storage from here. And I want the iron straight away. Anyway, guys, well, thank you so much for joining me today. I can't get up there. Can I throw some up there? Let's throw the five in case it goes horribly wrong. Nope, it works. Uh, thank you for joining me today. Ooh. Sorry, this is taking a while. Cool. Can I get that one as well, please? Please? There we go. Uh, thank you for joining me today. It's fantastic to have you all back. And we have a lot to do today. A lot of exciting things to do. And obviously number one is to get our iron smelted up. Now, I might just drop it here for now, as we know that we're going to be popping it in here. Because I do believe I can spell time in here. So that's what we're going to find out. But guys, the feedback on the last episode was fantastic. I'm so glad you all enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, I know Rob had a blast, and he really loved the feedback. He was a little bit nervous doing it, and yeah, it was just fantastic. You guys were awesome, so thank you. Um, yeah, you just made it really fun and enjoyable, uh, which was just great to see. And I really need to empty my inventory. Um, and yes, and thank you for all the name suggestions for our two lovely boars who we're going to put together in a pen um, and consider how we are going to get them together. Because um, I want them to start breeding up and create a little family. And so we can then nick some of the children and make beef out of them. Not beef, that's really weird. It's good that I know as a farmer that's, you know... I know what meat comes from, from a boar. Anyway, moving swiftly on. Um, yeah, a lot of exciting things to do. Right, so we need some charcoal. We have no charcoal, but as I've done, I've just filled it up, the smelter. So let's go to the bed straight away. Oh, his bed's still here. <laughs> he will be back. That is, the, that is the big thing to say. I should have put a little title card at the end of the last video saying he will be back. But uh, he'll most likely be joining us on be episode 20 or in the next big milestone if we get to 5k I don't know but um, we're gonna leave them for special episodes because I think that's quite a fun way to do it um, but as I say lots to do today obviously we have all this charcoal now so let's get all of that whacked in to here oh there's still something in here that's always nice fill it up fill this one up too but yes, let's empty my inventory quickly. So, we have a lot of different things. I want to keep the wood on me, but we have ancient bark now. I know we had some before, but we have a lot of ancient bark now. Uh, we also have lots of circling cores. Uh, another nine, so we should be able to do uh, another furnace if we need to. Or we need to look at how to do blast furnaces. As once we get our first piece of iron, we're going to have a lot of things pop up of what we can do. A lot of things. Right, resin away. We've got so many arrows now that we don't really need to have all these arrows on me. Um, oh, I've got all the copper here to do as well. It's fantastic. Is that all the copper I've got there? Yes, it is. That's not the end of the world. Uh, right, well, let's put those two away in there. We'll use these two up pretty soon, I'm sure. Okay, brilliant. Now, my only worry now is that we have done the Elder, which means soon we shall start getting harder bosses, um, harder mobs arrive at the base. So that's a little bit scary, but we shall just be careful. 
Right, this is going to take a while. So it might be time to get a second smelter, actually. And a second, second charcoal burner. But yes, yeah, so we need to be careful of these new smelting... Um, smelting <laughs> new bosses and uh, mobs, that's the word I'm looking for. Mobs coming in. But thankfully, as I say, I'm pretty sure we're going to be nicely prepared for them. And I'm actually really keen to try out, uh, you know, our defences. Because we can now, hopefully, quite easily miss mobs. Yeah, like that. Perfect. Good miss. Okay. So, my only thought now, though, is that I want to have lots of these furnaces, obviously. I want to have a blast furnace as well. So do I just pop a normal furnace down for a minute? Just here. And we can always take him away, can't we, and build a little furnace building. Because I would like a building that's reserved for these sorts of things. Because I want a few of them. Um, you know, like four of each sort of level. Um, right, so we have that full. Where's my pile of five? Let's get the iron going. Yes! Still encumbered. Let's whack a little more wooden here. Still encumbered. Heavy stuff. Heavy, heavy stuff. But now we're going to just pause and wait. The amount of recipes we're going to get here is going to be exciting. The main one I'm looking for is the stone cutter. Here we go. Hunts and bow, iron helmet, iron nails, horn of celebration, iron cooking station, stone cutter, smith's anvil, tool rack, cage floors, cage walls, iron poles, iron beams, bigger buildings, reinforced chest, personal chest, standing iron torches, yes. Oh, wow. Okay, we've got a lot of exciting things about to come up. <laughs> right, we need another smelter. Okay, to do a smelter. Oh, look, 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 look. This is so exciting. <gasps> we can do a hanging brazier. I've been able to do that for a while, so that's okay. Don't get too excited. A maypole. I don't know what it is, but I like it. Um, what am I going for? I want a furnace. There we go. Five circling cores, 20 stone. Okay, and we now know we've got a circling core... Um, spawner. So we can do the trick that Rob mentioned last time, which if you had missed that part, is if you dig underneath them low enough until there's water underneath, they spawn and then they just die because they fall into water. Uh, okay, so what was I going to grab? Furnace things. So we need, yes, we need one more circling core, unfortunately. Um, but we can definitely get this going. We want stone, we want 20 stone. So if I can grab 20 stone, fantastic. And we'll grab ourselves a secondary furnace. I think we need to have to reach both sides of it is the only thing. I'll pop it down here for now. Just for now. Okay, where's my smaller pa pack uh, of iron? Oh, that's the coal, but we'll get it in anyway. Okay, we are in smelting mode tonight. Get it all filled up. Keep filling it up. Give me all that coal. Fill you up. Am I running out? God. Right, okay guys, we're going to get this big uh, load of stuff sorted. Lots of things smelted. We'll then go to bed uh, in the game, obviously. Um, and hopefully that will just smelt overnight. So that'll be pretty good. So, we should be right back. Okay, so while those things are smelting up, we're not quite finished there. But we might as well look at some of the things we have now unlocked. So, we now have abil uh, availability to do lots of new things. So obviously the forge is great, but we now have upgrades for it. We can do the forge bellows, which we've been able to do for a while, but the chain's hard to do. Anvils, we can do this, we've been able to do this for a while. The smith's anvil we can now do, but 20 iron, bloody hell. We've got the forge cooler, easy to do. And we've also then got the forge tool rack. So we can now upgrade our forge to a very high level. But we can also do things like this, the Huntsman Bow, which could be awesome to do. But this is the one we might have to do in a minute. We'll come back to it in just a second because we'll get a load more things. Um, but yes, you see there's not many iron things we can actually build yet. And I think it's because the forge is not a high enough level yet. Uh, so yeah, but if I take one piece of iron like I have and make 10 iron nails, what are we going to be able to craft? Raven Throne, long ship, armor stand. Is that it? Oh, surely there's more than that. But the main one there was the longship. Because that now opens up our possibility to 
like we want to build our dock. So we're going to be digging this in right into here. Uh, and then we're going to be going out and out each side with a long ship with a nice big roof over it as well. And we are going to be building more buildings out over the water here too. So the beehives may get moved because I might bring this out, uh, have a building over the water here as well. Um, there's lots want to do and we're running out of space a little bit. So we may push the wall back and build on this bit of the side as well. But we have all the room down that way as well. But our little village is coming together rather nicely. Um, so let me just top these things up. There we go. I'm more fussed about getting the coal filled up. There we go. At least one of them is smelting. That's good. Okay, so... We now have some other improvements as well. Uh, another improvements, another thing I need, and this is the stone cutter. This is what I've been wanting, I've been wanting for a while. Uh, it's going to be very, very helpful to have. Um, I don't think we have access to the cartography table. We do, actually. I should be getting that as well. Um, but I want to, I don't know, a, like a map room or a better room for this. Cartography table could go up top in there, supposedly. But the stone cutter, we're running out of room for these things. Unless I expand this building out to cover this area, I don't know. Um, but let's get the stone cutter built. So for that we need, um, where is it? Here we go. Four stone and ten wood. Are we low on wood? We are. That's the four wood I think I needed. So just oh, it's ten wood. Not f Silly me. Grab some more. Thankfully we have plenty still. Lots of core wood, which is great. We're a little bit low on the uh, other wood, I suppose. Uh, I've got so much stone out here, which is great. Right, things might be a little bit laggy just because of all the items on the floor, but it will clear up. 16 stone, I'm carrying too much. Fantastic. I only needed four, so let's just get rid of a couple of pieces. There we go. You can go away. I'm perfect. We can move around nice and easily. Okay, so this table I'm going to want to put in here somewhere. Now, this is going to have a big hearth here. And the chimney up there. We might not do the same here because this is going to be obviously the staircase and you know, the fermenter and all that sort of stuff. So maybe this side is going to be better for the cartography table. Um, for the why did I just pick that? That's been my lucky dandelion for so long. Oh, I'm an idiot. Anyway, this is what I've been wanting for a long time. I think I want it this way, like so. Stone cutter, sharpening stone, a hearth. There it is. But all the stone pieces, which is why I've been saving up the stone and why I've been trying to recommend to everyone, keep using stone. So now we can do this up, um, craft this fella. <laughs> I can't remember exactly what it does again, but it also allows us to do something pretty cool. I don't think I have the tool on me right now. I do not, because I believe if I go and grab, after I've whacked some coal in here, if I go and grab I think it's the hoe. There we go. You see it pop up there. I can now build a paved road. So if I show you, I'm going to cover this in, in stone, I think. So it's okay for me to, to do this here, I think. Uh, but here you go. I have no stone on me. That's embarrassing. But I'll show you in a second. Uh, yes, it's very cool. But we'll come back to that. <laughs> Actually, no, I've got to show you now. I've, I've started. I have to do it. Right, so give me a piece of stone. Uh, just one little bit. Thank you. Oh, not carrying too much again. I need to empty my inventory. As you've seen, I've got another chest up here because that's containing all my lovely items in there. All my forged items. Okay, <clears throat> we go again. The hoe, the paved road. And there we go. So, this is really nice for paths leading to the base. So, for example, the path going along here. But I don't want to dive into this because obviously it's going to change a little bit. What's in here? Oh my god. We have so much wood. Um, but yes, pretty cool thing to have. But what I'm actually wanting to do here is if we go to building is take the stone floor slabs and I want to start placing these in to have a nice solid stone floor. But obviously we're going to need a lot of stone. But this is going to be the base of the floor all the way through here. I think it's going to look really quite nice. So yeah. Let's get this filled up again. Might run out of wood here. No, we have enough. That's fine. We're doing well. Coal's empty. That's empty as well. Right. Whew. Let me get everything filled up. And again, we'll sleep because this is full. Um, 
Is this going to be enough in there? There's four items for three coal. Yeah, that will do. Let's have a autosave and a snooze. Back in a second. Okay, so. We need to start doing stuff in this episode. I feel like we've been hanging on too much and not really getting anywhere. So it's time to get cracking. So as I say, we're going to get a nice stone floor in here. Um, if it's going to allow me. There we go. No, they're not like that. And yeah, this is hopefully going to look really nice, but... Well, that's going to be a tricky thing, isn't it? I forgot about this. I forgot that the room is a very weird shape. Should make it a little bit tougher, but we'll have a go. Um, right, so what I'm going to do is we might just take a cut, as we usually do, for building things. But Because I don't think you quite want to see me whacking down stone all the time. But you can, I think you can see why I like this material. It's a very nice looking floor. Uh, I'm a big fan. Um, I'll have to fix up these end bits because, as I say, it's a very weirdly shaped building. Uh, I need not to do the middle ones because that's not going to work. Uh, I don't know where I need to be here, actually. Is it that's the height? Well, I actually can't really tell. Yeah, that's the correct height. Cool. Right, so we'll come back to you once the floor is in and hopefully looking rather snazzy. Okay, so we're looking a little bit more snazzy now. Now, you might be looking down this tube down the middle and going, what is that? And actually, I've kind of tried to save stone, because if you've used up my entire stone collection, uh, at the outside one, you've still got a load inside. Um, but yes, these take six to do two by twos. But what I was able to do is actually use a stone wall down the centre here. And I don't actually mind it too much. Uh, I think it looks quite cool and just a bit of a difference, you know, a bit of a change. Uh, and so for here... We need to bring some steps down for it, but I don't want to use... It's, it's not, not bad, those steps, actually. But at the same time, the stone... That's the autosave. Uh, the stone could be... Wow, big one. Could be coming out here anyway and lining the wooden pier. So maybe I don't need to do that quite yet. But at the moment, we have to jump in. But that's okay. But the stone cutter has been flipped around and tucked in the corner here. Uh, I do want to get rid of these standing torches because... I want fancier torches in here, you know, which we're trying to go fancy now, we're trying to, you know, we're going, we're going up in the world, um, we can definitely do better than this. So, I'd love to have a hanging brazier, but we do not have enough chain. Oh, what do we do? Because we have got a piece of chain. So we could get this hanging from here, and this would light up the room beautifully, but I do believe my original design, I wanted them here. But I've only got one, we could, as I say, just for now, hang one there. So we need five bronze, two coal, one chain. The coal is not a problem, as you can tell. We have a lot. How much coal was it? Just to make sure I don't use it all up. Two. That's okay. Have I got wood on me? I have lots of wood on me. Let's keep this filled up. Fantastic. Keep that filled up. Two. There we go. Collect the iron. We're doing well through the smelting. Uh, I then needed five bronze. Got. I used up all my coal. Two will be out there. Uh, we chain and five bronze. So the five bronze. We only have three, so let's make some more. Let's get a little bit of tin. I don't know how much copper we need, but we shall make whatever we can. There we go. So we need that. We don't need any of those. Fantastic. We have a lot of iron so far. More to go in. Um, piece of chain. Now, where was my chain kept? Because I do not want to lose this. Where was my chain? I cannot lose the chain. <laughs> it's an expensive thing. Where is it? Oh, God. Oh, we can make two, but let's just make one for now, because I want to save them for some other things. Uh, as I say, there's other bits and bobs that need it, so that's cool. Okay, so hang brazier. We can make it. There is a forge nearby. Let's pop it right in the middle there. Now that looks lovely. The only thing is smoke. Obviously, we haven't got anything to do with the smoke here, but that'll be okay. I so when we do place them on the edges here, they're going to look fantastic. We're hungry. Cool. Well, this room is really starting to take shape. Obviously, the next big thing is to place a very large hearth over here. Now, where is the hearth? 
We can do it right now. Oh my god, I can't see anything. So it needs to go right in the middle here. And it's going to be like that. But then do we inset it into the ground or do we have it up like it is there? That is the big question. But hopefully that smoke's all just going to pile out of there. Um, I haven't got any fuel on me, but I need to try this now. And you all need to see this work. Is it Oasis and Core Wood? Probably. We shall grab that. It does stick out a bit here, by the way, but I'm not too fussed against it. It almost looks like it's kind of the foundations a little bit more. Uh, if you don't like it, let me know. But okay. Okay, it's getting pretty smoky in here, so maybe the brazier isn't the way to go for now. <laughs> Let's just get rid of that for now. We did collect everything back. Good. Yeah, it's very smoky in here. Um, okay, let's give this a go. Wow. Now, is the smoke going to go up and go? Looks like it is. So far, so good. We'll keep an eye on it. If it doesn't work, then we'll have to open up the chimney a bit more. But other than that, that is looking really good. Now, there should be some things we can start to use. The iron cooking station. Here we go go three chain okay looks like we're not doing that straight away but there should be a thing called the spice rack which is an upgrade on the cauldron because we can place a cauldron we could then place a spice rack nearby and you then get a really good little bonus but i can't seem to find where the spice rack is but i am probably missing something anyway let's keep the smelting going Okay, so with our smelting going well, it's time to check out the farm. So we have our two lovely people here who we need to name uh, at some point. But for now, I will just let them be together. Because they deserve the ability to be together. They don't deserve, however, to escape <laughs> yet. Um, but yeah, we need to name them, as I, as I said. Oh, Boar loves you. This boy loves me too. Makes me happy. The proud father. Um, but yes, your names and suggestions have been fantastic. I've seen lots of porkies. I've seen lots of classic ones, you know, bacon and sausages and, you know, all funny ones like that, which is great. Um, the two pigs I've had are Wilbur and Rolter. Wilbur, I think, is from Charlotte's Web, the book, if you've seen it or read it. Um, Walter, I don't know where that was from. So it's tempting so I've got two names that I like but you guys have got your names you are like so we're gonna find a balance and we're gonna choose between a couple of them which is gonna be cool I think but anyway let's get all these carrots up because we want to start making some good and better foods and harvesting all our produce so we've so got our carrots to harvest here um, I'm kind of waiting for a movement of forest or swamp because I want to see if we can deal with it now that we have good defenses it is a whole thing of careful what you wish for because I know that at some point it's going to happen and I'll probably be unprepared for it and die. Uh, but, yeah, we'll see how we do. Anyway, that's a really good harvest again. We've now got loads of carrots. Um, and obviously we will plant some out, but I do not have a cultivator on me right now. No, I do not. So we shall come back to that in a minute. But as I say, we're doing well. These two are now in the same pen together. So who knows what's going to happen between the two of them. I will let them figure that out. Also, we need to harvest our berries. I put some grass down here again. Can't do that. I haven't got my cultivator on me. Um, harvest all the raspberries. And then we need to harvest all the honey as well. Because these should all be completely full. Now. Yep. Everyone's pretty full. Wow. So much honey. So much. Ooh. A little lag spike again. I wonder if there's some items on the floor somewhere. It's becoming quite a busy area. Yes, lots of items on the floor. Uh, yes, which is great, but also a bit worrying for everything else. Um, and my frame rate and all that. Okay. Quite a bit of honey. Lots of necktails and poison arrows and lots of things in here as well. Okay, so in order to create the foods we want. So the last foods I had, I had carrot soup. Nice stamina boost. And dish juice, 45. I think those are the best. These are all mead bases and stuff, which are pretty cool to do at some point. A minor healing one, that's a good one to have at some point as well. Uh, frost resistance, we don't need that one quite yet because we're not heading that way. 
So it looks like it's going to be, yeah, so dish stew and carrot soup are the two best to do. And our board jerky is always just a really good middle ground and it's nice and easy to make. Okay, so for carrot soup, mushrooms and carrots, cooked deer meat, blueberries and carrots. Let's grab them. So we have all of this, obviously, which is great. Um, we'll grab our carrots. I can't remember if we needed honey or not, but we'll grab some of that as well. And then we needed the blueberries and we needed some mushrooms. It might have been the red ones, I can't remember. The more we grab, the more we can deal with. Apart from the fact that I'm now full. That's a good start. Any space for things in here? Yes, there we go. Okay, let's get cooking. So, let's make some carrot soup up. As I say, I really wanted to upgrade this today, but it looks like I can't, which is a bit annoying. Um, yeah, yeah. Frustrating. The spice rack, I'm pretty sure, is what upgrades it. Um, but we'll deal with that for now. Let's get ten of these. Good dish stew. Let's get ten of these. Using up all our carrots. Was this two per thing? It's three per thing. Wow. Oh, no, I didn't make another one. Damn it. That means I'm not going to have to make ten of these. Anyway, how many can we make? Close. Make nine. And then boar jerky. I haven't picked up the boar meat yet. There we go. Let's quickly eat one of those. We can't eat any more of those. Interesting. We eat one of those. That's what we can eat. Uh, okay. Boar jerky. We'll fill this up a little bit. Always good to have a bunch of this stuff. Looking pretty good. How much would I make? We'll make close to 20. There we go. You want any now? No, we don't want any now, so I won't go over. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Lots of food. Food for thought. Um, and we'll keep carrots up here. We've used up all our carrots. That's okay. Raw meat goes back in there. Everything else goes back in here. There we go. And whack our cooked meat back in here as well. Barely use any of it. And there we go. There's our food. So good. We do have some Queen's Jam just in case we need it. As well as that little extra piece, which we'll use up soon because I'm sure we'll be hungry for it in a minute wow that's a lot of iron I've still got more to go in as well okay what to do next really it's a really hard one to think about let me come back to you a decision has been made we're gonna make a cartography table so fine wood bone fragments let's start with those fine wood was that enough yes bone fragments 10 we can do that. Yes. Two bronze. We can also do this. Oh, I love having items. We'd always make more up if we need more for the brazier, which we obviously do. Five leather scraps and four raspberries. Five leather scraps. Excuse me. Thank you. Thank, thank you. And was it two raspberries or four raspberries? It's amazing how easy it is to forget what you need. Um, well, that's just me. I don't know. Okay, time for the cartography table, which we're going to put up uh, at the top here, I think. Uh, or do we put it in here somewhere? We could have it in here, I suppose. Um, it's a little bit smoky in here, isn't it? Not the worst day. I want to turn it round. Is that better? Like so. Here we go. You can record and share your explorations of the tenth world. Use a toolbox to record your process and take a look at this large map to copy what others have explored. This table is empty. Interesting. Okay, so now use copy. Can I not? I want to see it. I want to look at it. Interesting. Okay, we'll, we'll come back to that later. But it looks like it's doing its job kind of, that little chimney area. If we need to extend it, we'll extend it, but it's not much too much smoke around the place. 
Uh, if we get really smoky, then obviously we'll have to change it. Um, but things are looking okay. Got these expensive things, aren't they? That's what we can do, but uh, we'll leave it for now. Right, that's one thing done. The cartography table, that's cool to have. This is the maypole here, by the way. Uh, I don't really know what it does, but I'd like to have it at some point. Uh, I don't know if it kind of gives us a little bit of a, a boost or a bonus or anything, but we shall find out. So maybe we can finish the episode potentially planning out this, the port, because I do want to start thinking about the port and how it's going to look and how we actually want to do this. Um, as it's going to be quite a tricky one because the boat is going to be big. Uh, where is it? The long ship. I mean, it's, it's a big boat. Look at the size of this thing. If we can get up onto here, I could then show you a bit more easily. Yeah, it's it's a big thing. And we've got to house that somehow. So it's going to be quite a large building. Again, kind of the size of this thing, but here, going out over to the water. Makes this thing look a little bit dinky in comparison. Isn't it? <laughs> I mean, look at the size difference. Wow. Bloody hell. But that's what we're planning for. And I also want to build a smelting room as well. So I don't know where that would go. I want it fairly close to the base. So maybe over here might not be quite as viable. Because if we do go over here. And we look out, out here. Also we can build all, all over this area here. We can go over to here as well. So you can go all around the way. Um, but I do want to keep things close to each other. So if this is too far away from the main building and we're not using my big, nice new building enough, this one, then... Because it's hard to go back. We could go back, actually. Just flatten it out a little bit more. Um, but part of me thought we could actually use the height to create more chimneys for... Oh, lots of ideas going through the head again, guys. This is dangerous. We're going to get loads of ideas piling through. Um, let's use up that and that. There we go. But... I want to have an attack, which would be good fun. Because I want to practice winning and not constantly missing these creatures. Because I seem to be an absolute terrible shot at them, which is not very ideal. There we go. Not so good. But, let's think about what to happen next. Okay, so I've realised we've missed, missed something. Um, firstly, we should make a big coin pile because we can now. But mainly, as we've done the carrot seeds, I suddenly realised we have our turnip seeds. No wonder I can't um, build... What was it? Uh, the spice rack is because I think we're, I'm pretty sure we're going to need turnip seeds here. So we're going to need our cultivator back as well. Is that the only cultivator we have? It is indeed. So there we go. New build piece, turnip. And it's raining, so we'll plant them out during the rain. There we go. So we'll have a line of turnips at the back here. This is exciting now. I have one more there. We'll then go for a second layer. Wow, that's bright lining. God, the weather in this game is fantastic. It's one of the best parts of it, I think. Whew. Although you can't actually see anything when you do it happens. Four more. So we'll get four more in there. There we go. Carrot seeds. We've actually used up all our carrots, which is a bit silly. So we kind of have to just grow normal carrots now. That's okay. There we go. Get these all planted nice and fast. I'm not going to be too too clean with it, I don't think. How many do we have? Whoa, that's a big boat. Uh, 17. We'll get a few more in. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for my cultivator. Thank you. I actually can't see anything on the floor. So, that's a really big boat. Uh, that's pretty good. We'll keep that closed. It's been watered nicely. I don't know if I need to give these two thing, these guys anything to, to keep smooching away. Technical term. But we'll leave them to it. Wow. Got a bit of a lag in the rain there. Wow. Fantastic. Well, that is planted. And then hopefully when they grow, we'll create a spice rack. 
We'll whack it on here just for now to upgrade the cauldron and we'll then be able to make some new things. And the main one I'm pretty sure is sausages. So somewhere here, the entrails, I'm pretty sure we can make it with blood bags and these guys. We've got more of these things as well. But I'm going to finish the episode by taking the Elder Trophy up to the top where, as we all saw last time, I was a bit of a Muppet with Rob and didn't even bring it with me thinking I can just place it. So we shall rush my way up here. Not get distracted by anything, hopefully. Got to get good stamina, don't we? Nowadays, it's pretty handy. Not even a boar can get me. Oh, don't say that too soon. Um, but wow, here we go. So, activate power. Faster wood cutting. That is going to be helpful for building our port. And so, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. I have enjoyed it. And it's great to be back. We're going to try and get into a better schedule now. The reason why it's been struggling recently is I have started a new job and it, it takes a lot of hours. <laughs> you know, I'm working nine till six every day uh, with a commute in and out. So I don't really have much time at all to record, but I'm going to try and keep on top of it. So if there's a delay between videos, I do apologize. I could try my best. At the time of recording this, my latest farming simulator video has just gone up. So I hope you enjoy that. Please keep watching them. I know they're doing not as well as the Valheim, but because the Valheim is just special, <laughs> different sort of game. But if you are enjoying uh, Farming Sim, do give it a watch. If you haven't seen it, I recommend giving it a watch. Um, I think it's quite enjoyable, but if it's not your thing, not a problem. Keep watching this, plenty more of this to come, and yeah, keep an eye out for more. Anyway, thanks so much. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.